Good morning children. Let's learn Max today. In the last class of Max, we learned about the expanded form, place value and face value. Today we are going to learn about the comparing numbers. We are going to learn how to compare the numbers. Let's take apples. In one hand I am having two apples and in other hand I am having five apples. Which is greater? Two or five? Well see, you know that five apples is greater. So we can say five is greater than two. Let's take another number. Here we have 15 and 12. We have to find out which number is greater. So let's start from 12. Let's count 12, 13, 14, 15. So the number increases. As the number increases, the value also increases. So we can say 15 is greater than 12. Here we have another number. The numbers are 5 and 12. 5 is a one digit or two digit number. 5 is a one digit number and 12 is a two digit number. So a two digit number is always greater than a one digit number. So here we can say that 12 is greater than 5. Let's take another example. Here it is 68 and 45. Both are two digit numbers. So how can we find out which is greater? Let's check the place value. First let's take 68. In 68 we, can, we know there are 6 tens and 8 ones. And in the number 45 we have 4 tens and 5 ones. So let's check the place value. In the number 68 it is 6 tens. In the number 45 it is 4 tens. So which will be greater? 68 is greater than 45. Here we have 68 and 62. Both are two digit numbers. Let's check the place value. So in 68, 68 it is 8 ones and 6 tens. In the number 62 we again have 2 ones and 6 tens. The tens position is having the same number. So let's move on to the ones position. Here in 68 we are having 8 ones. In 62 we have 2 ones which is greater. It is 68. So we can say 68 is greater than 62. Now there are symbols for less than and greater than. This is the symbol for less than and this is the symbol for greater than. So how can we read these numbers? 68 greater than 62. 52 greater than 44. 45 is less than 68. The symbol always opens its mouth to the greater number. Just remember this. The symbol always opens its mouth to the greater number. Now let's compare 122 and 62. 122 is a two digit or three digit number. It's three digit number because there are three digits in that number. And what about 62? 62 is a two digit number. So when we compare a three digit number and a two digit number, always the three digit number will be greater. So we can say in this that 122 is greater than 62 and it is represented using the symbols and it, this can be read as 122 is greater than 62. Here 148 is greater than 55. 148 is a three digit number and 55 is a two digit number. So hope you understood how to use the symbols. Now let's compare three digit numbers. Here we have 122 and 112. Both are 
three digit numbers. Now let's check the place value. Here in this number 122 we have two ones, two tens and one hundred. In this number we have two ones, one tens, one hundred. Let's start counting from the hundreds position. In both the numbers we have one in the hundreds place. So both are same. Let's move on to the tens position. In the tens position in the number 122, 2 comes in the tens place and in the number 112, 1 comes in the tens place. So which is greater? Now we can say that 122 is greater than 112 and it's represented using the symbol. Let's check another example. Here we have 154 and 155. We have one, ten, one hundreds, five tens, four ones in the number 154. In the number 155, we have one hundreds, five, five tens and five ones. In the hundreds position, we have the number one. So let us move on to the tens position. In the tens position, we have five. In this also is same. Now let us move on to the ones position. In the ones position here we have 4 and here we have 5. So we know that 5 is greater than 4. So we can say that 155 is greater than 154. So that is all for today. Hope you understood how to compare numbers. Now you can open your text and we will start doing the exercises. Hope you have taken the book. Open page number 10. So the first question, color the glow with the greater number blue. One has been done for you. So you have to be ready with your crayons for doing this. We have to color this. One has already been done. You have to color using the color blue. We have to color the greater number. In the first, 137 and 43. In that 137 is greater and that, that is done for you. Now let us move on to B. 120, 125. So let us check it with the place value. In 120 we have 100, 2 tens, 0 ones. In 125 we have 100, 2 tens and 5 ones. So which is greater? 125 is greater so you can color that in blue. The rest you can do it as homework. Let us move on to the second question. Color the bell with the smaller number yellow. One has been done for you. So here we have to color the smaller number and in which color? Yellow. So get ready with your yellow crayon. The first one 127 and 148 which is smaller it has been done for you 127 is smaller and that is colored in yellow let us move on to be 134 137 let us check the place value 100 3 tens 4 ones in 134 100 3 tens and 7 ones in 137. So which is smaller? Color it. Yes, it is 134. So the rest you can do it as homework. Moving on to the third question. Color the part having the greatest number blue and the part having the smallest number yellow. You can see two caterpillars there and numbers are written on the caterpillar. Now what we have to do? We have to color the greater number blue and the smaller number yellow. So the first caterpillar numbers are 57, 138, 99, 112, 43, 196, 143. What we have to do in these numbers? We have to find out the smallest number and the greatest number. So find out and do the two caterpillars. That's all for today. So 
after finishing the exercises, you can take our picture and send it to our WhatsApp. Thank you.